In this video, I'll try to explain how we can utilize lightning system related icons into Visual Force page without uploading into a static resource. So what we have to do is if you go to lightning design system icons, this is an icons tab here. And for example, I want to take the refresh icon into my Visual Force page. So I just right to right click, click inspect element. So the reason for inspecting this element is I'm trying to find the URL of this image. So if you go under SVG, you'll see a tag called use. And here you will see uh, href and then you'll see here the complete URL of this logo. So just copy this uh, logo URL and I'll just try to paste it in my notepad. This is the URL of the logo right so then before going to how we can add, include this particular url into the visual force page i'll just show you the final output right so this is my final output so what i want what i'm trying to achieve is i want to include the logo which is copied from lightning design system into visual force page this is where i have placed it right so the the motor behind this is if i just click refresh here so the current time zone here is uh, so the, my org is in PST. So the current time is 357. If I just refresh it, the entire page has to reload and also it has to update with the current time. So if I just refresh, so 358 is the PST time. If I just go and check now, it is 358. So it is working as well as my logo is also available here. So I'll just show you how we can include this. So what you have to do is this. So this is the logic here, right? So uh, I've utilized command line for uh, to include this logo uh, to make this logo work, right? So on click, I'm just trying to reload the entire page. And this SVG is what the tag that we have to include. And in, in, inside SVG, you'll have a use tag and use tag has two parameters to link and say two attributes so this is first attribute and its value so this is a static url so you can just copy it as it is and the second uh, second attribute this value so this value can let's say we can split as two parts like uh, for this particular attribute h h r h h link h r f link has two values you can consider as two different parts as a value so the, the, this particular first part is a static static value you can just copy it as it is and the second part is whatever we have whatever we have copied from the lightning design system uh, so the same co same code will be pasting it here so that's it so in this way we are uh, we don't need to include this icon into a static resource so directly we can uh, reference this logo into our visual force page so that this is how the, this is how the final outcome is right and the second important point here is so whenever you are including this uh, svg icons make sure in your visual force page uh, you are also appending this uh, apex slds uh, tag if this is not included what happens is let me save this and if i go here uh, so if you see here, this icon become ugly, right? So to avoid this, what you have to do is you have to include this SLDS tag so that it will display as we expected, right? Yeah, that's all about this video. Happy learning.